Jenna with Resort TV One. Today I'm here with Maria from Lake Way to Visitors. So we are here today because it is back to Hogwarts. It's time for back to school. So we are gonna find everything that we need for back to school. You know, if you're a wizard. Yeah, I got, I got my backpack, I'm ready. So what better place to start than Diagon Alley? Let's go. The first place we gotta go is Flourish in Blotts. That is where you get your Hogwarts school books. Let's go see what they have. All right, so I think, Maria, I think we heard this year we need this book. He looks a little scary though. It's all right, they, they sell them inside and they, it's a more tame version. A tame version, we'll yes. show you guys. Who wants one of these books? Oh, oh boy, oh. he doesn't like me. But I think all you have to do is uh, rub the spine and they, it's okay, they like you. Maria, do you think we need this many books? Yeah, but uh, can Chris and Dale come carry them? Yeah, come on, Chris and Dale, we need your help. So I'm not sure if we need this book this year from Gilderoy Lockhart, but if you do, they're all right here at Flourish and, and Blotts. All sorts of books by Gilderoy Lockhart. Do we have any wizarding stories? So here is a cauldron shop. Best quality cottages, new and used. So you can get either one. Let's go see. So it looks like it's only for by appointment only, so it's not currently open. But we can check out from the window what they have. Looks like they got a lot of awesome cauldrons in here. Which one should we get, Maria? Well, let's get the big one. The really big one? I like the one with the self-stirring spoon. Oh, I'm, I'm doing that with my wand. Oh, okay, good job, good job. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of like this really little one. He'd be easy to carry. Uh, so here's all the cauldrons you can get. They have all sizes, copper, brass, pewter, silver, and self-stirring. That's the one I wanted, but also collapsible. Oh, that's convenient. I like that, that's convenient. Here are the robes, guys. And they have for each house, of course. So here is Ravenclaw, which is what Maria is today. She's a Ravenclaw. I just liked how this looks. <laughs> but usually I am a Hufflepuff. She is usually a Hufflepuff. Yeah. That's okay. You know, I'm a Griffinpuff, so you could That's be too. Right. You can be, be in between. Then we have, let's see what this one is. Oh, that's still Ravenclaw. Oh, here's here's Hufflepuff. Oh, here's yours. Yeah, these are pretty expensive, guys. That's why we don't have one. Ooh, and also, we have to get our scarves. Oh, it's pretty cold there at Hogwarts. We definitely need our scarves. That's a very English thing. It is. So all of these scarves are $39, if you're wondering, and they do have all the houses. All right, we found the Gryffindor robes right here. And Slytherin. The robes are pretty expensive, guys. They are, doesn't say, but they're pretty expensive. So all of the robes are $129, if you are wondering. They are pretty thick. They do have a wand pocket. They even have some shirts here. This one has the Hogwarts emblem. The Gryffindor. There's a Slytherin. There's a 
Ravenclaw. And Hufflepuff. You can even get some headbands for back to school. They have all the different houses right here. And of course, your school socks. You gotta get your, um, your house socks. They have two different kinds with the name and without. So we have our robes, our cauldrons, and our books. Next thing we totally forgot, Maria, is the wands. We need the wand for sure. And do we pick it? No, the wand chooses you. That's right, the wand chooses the wizard. Let's go. All right, so luckily, Maria and I have already been chosen by our wands. And I have Luna's wand, and I love it. It's super cute. Very and squishy. So one really cool thing about Luna's wand is, as you can tell, the tulip is razor sharp like Luna's wit. Pretty cool. And Maria, which one do you have? I have the 2020 collector's wand that's sold out, but they've been having it back in this old inner store lately. Yeah. I love it. Is your is black? Your, is yours swishy too? Mine's pretty swishy. No. <laughs> yours is more Sturdy. Mine's sturdy. I Mine's like ready it. for some action. Expelliarmus. All right, so we are running out of money. So Maria, where should we go? Great gods. Great gods. The safest place in Diagon Alley. Let's go. All right, let's head into Green Gods. Go find our safe and get some money. All right, let's go in the bank, guys. are full currently. Also, do not approach the security channel. So, here we are, guys. Grand Gods Bank. Where's the dragon? The dragon is down in the dungeons, but mm -hmm. then eventually you're gonna go out the top. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hello, sir. Um, I would like to uh, take out some money, please. Sir? Hello? He's busy. We'll, we'll, go, don't have a lot we'll go to the next one. It's okay. Sir? Excuse me, sir? All right, we'll try these guys. <laughs> uh, sir? Excuse me? No, nope, they're not going to help us either. Okay. Let's try this guy. Yeah, let's try this guy. Hello? Hi. We'd like to take out some money, please. They're not very helpful. Oh, that guy's looking at you, Maria. Oh, hello. Uh, yes, I'd like to get access to my ball. Oh, he shook his head. Nope. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll, we'll try. We'll try another guy. Maria, is this your vault? It's open. No, that's way too much cash. Too much cash. money. Definitely not my vault. Some of the daily profits. Hello and welcome to Universal Orlando Resort. In addition to the importance between your travel party and other guests, Please use floor markings as a guide when available. As you approach them, hand sanitizer will also be available at the exit of this attraction. As three glasses will be handed out individually to each guest prior to boarding. the pre-show normally happens of course now because of the coronavirus you just walk on through still need to go through that so normally you go 
on these elevators and go down, down, down to the bottom. But now we're just gonna walk on pickles. And then you can see it going all the way down to the dungeon up here. Isn't it cool? So next we're gonna head into Wise Acres. I heard they have some more books in here. And some quills. Yes. Let's go. So here is all the things you need for back to Hogwarts with your quills and your books. Let's go take a closer look. So there's super cool things over there that I'm sure I've never seen on the internet anywhere. What is it? You can send Ministry of Magic memos, like the airplanes from the Whoa, movie. Whoa, that's amazing. But it gets better. Uh -uh. The Howler. <gasps> the Howler card and it yells no, at you. No, oh my word, yes. I want one of those. I've never seen this. I know, how cool is that? That's so I've amazing. been noticing a lot of new merchandise. So here are the notebooks. Oh, this is a planner. You definitely need a planner. And they have all the houses, of course. Here's Hufflepuff. Here's a Ravenclaw. And these special ones lock. Those with the uh, crest Oh, lock. so the ones with the crest lock. So you, you know, can't share your notes with anybody. You also have composition notebooks. You always need those for school. Parchment paper. And of course, your quills. So guys, you need a cell phone case for Back to Hogwarts, but this one is pretty special. How cool. Isn't that amazing? The Monster Book of Monsters. I love this. <laughs> Wait, no, just, just stroke the spine. It's okay. See? Very good. They even have magnetic bookmarks, guys. More bookmarks and paper and quills. So here's some of the books that you are gonna need for your classes at Hogwarts. Advanced Potion Making, Dark Art Defense, basic for the beginners. And the Monster Book of Monsters. So amazing. Look, there's even more. Tales of Beetle and Bard. It's the castle. A History of Magic. Now, these look like regular books that you would get for Hogwarts. They're actually um, lined journals, which makes it even cooler. I would totally get this, but I think it's like $25. Yeah, yeah. but it's so. amazing. Look. Oh, 32. Even more than I thought, but it's so cool. Now, we have our wands, we have our books, we have everything I think we need, except for one more thing. One of my favorites, the animals. Yes, we have to have an animal to go back to school. So the best place to get the animals are at the Magical Menagerie. Let's go. So you can pick from any of these awesome magical creatures. Of course, we have our cute little pygmy puffs, which we already have. This guy's a little scary. Yeah, he's sometimes trouble. A little bit of trouble, spider. Chocolate frog. <gasps> Chocolate frogs. Singing frogs. Yes. We have scabbers. Also trouble. Trouble. It's cute, but trouble. Ooh, the phoenix. We have an owl. And who's this? Fluffy. Fluffy. See, look how sweet. You know, when he hears music, he's very sweet. And then we have Fang. Oh, he's so cute. They Isn't did a really good job with him. He is super cute. Looks looks like a, just like Fang. We have a dragon coming out of an egg. And it's a puppet. And it's a puppet. A lot of these are puppets, which yeah. is pretty cool. Including this guy. This little fairy guy, yes, he is a puppet. We have Sirius Black down here. Looks a little scary. It's okay. And Crookshanks, Hermione's cat. And then over here we have a hippogriff. This is really cool. I love the hippogriffs. Ooh, even Nagini. Oh my goodness. In the Nordic Ridgeback, right? Oh, I think so. Norwegian. Norwegian, sorry. Yeah, Ridgeback. Cornish pixies. Look out. Look out. They're cute though. Look at their little faces. They are. Like creepy cute. They look well behaved compared to the movie. Yeah, and there's the shirt that matches. Some frogs hanging out over here. And a, oh, he's saying hi. Hello. And a phoenix. And of course we have Hedwig. He's Damn. so cute. <gasps> what? Don't get dizzy. Don't get dizzy, Hedwig. Go back the other way, rewind. 
<laughs> Aww, he's so cute. So you have uh, the puppet version, the keychain, and the backpack. Then we have Pigwidian and Hedwig together. I don't know who this is, but he looks like Al from Winnie the Pooh, Maria <laughs> says. <laughs> And some more cute owls. I, I think this guy was in my backyard the other night. We have the Nifflers over here. And bow truckles. So cute. You get a stuffed one or a bendable one. And then here's another cute little Niffler with his money. So many animals to pick from. I wonder what Jenna got. <gasps> Oh yeah, his head's spinning. Yes. <laughs> our next stop is Quidditch Supplies, because of course we need our Nimbus 2000. Let's go. Just kidding, the next best thing is the Firebolt. I forgot. There's no finer broom. Ooh, we need our flags. Maria, flags for the Quidditch game to represent our, our house. We totally need flags. Oh my gosh. Also, you need your winter gear, of course, in all the houses. Because, you know, Florida is so cold. But that's not where Hogwarts is, so gotta prepare. So these are super amazing. They come in all the houses. These will be perfect for back to school. Dale, are you going to finally become a wizard? I am going to attempt to become a wizard. Yes, and he is in Ravenclaw, guys. He is Ravenclaw, so we're going to go see what wand chooses him. Oh, yes, let's go check it out. Let's go! The other make is a fine wall for the street hunter. We need two meetings stage. I am the wall keeper. It's clear for those of us who study the wall. The wall of the wand is choose the wizard. They're not always good lines. So you must be Dale, yes? That's correct. Right. Ravenclaw? I am. Now you may step into the lines. I'm just going to clear. Every other under wall contains a cord of powerful magical substance. We use unicorn hands, phoenix tail feathers, even hot strings of dragons. No two Oliver wands are the same. Just there's no two unicorns, dragons, or phoenixes are quite the same. And you will never get such good results with another wizard's wand. This is a wand of boulder, 17 and a half inches long. The dragon heartstring for. I want you to try something for me. That's, right. that's fine. I don't want the same thing. <laughs> That's okay, try it. <laughs> Give it a wave. What do I do? Let me take care of this one. Goodness gracious me. Who is the wonky keeper here? I thought it was myself. Not there. What you're going to do is you're going to give that with the flower some more water. Wave the one and say aguamenti. Aguamenti. <gasps> Not quite. You're quite right, not the one for you. I'm a professional. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Still the ropes. Alright, so yeah, down, down. Oh, hold it. Let's see. I'll do that too, my wife. If I show him a wand of hazel, are there going to be any conflicts out there? <laughs> no, no, if you're good. <laughs> Again, this time from a Gary and Horn tail, though. Alright, so take that to light up the tip, please. Concentrate and say Lumos! Lumos! Phoenix tail feather core. Try 
try that on the size. Very good for magic in nature. Someone has a phoenix tail and the call for a wizard. It's really destined to make a mark. Now, if I make one, two, three, four. And that nice system will take you to answer questions, go to options. But remember, the wand learns also learns from the wand, so use it wisely. And for all of you out there with your wands, don't store them in your back pockets. Elementary. Thank you so very much for selecting all of that. And you thank you. Hope you enjoy your time here in Diagon Alley. Thank you so much. Thank you. you are very clever, Dale. <coughs> so this one is the one for the intelligent people. Oh, alrighty. And check out the tip. Oh, that's a nice one. It's Phoenix. It's Phoenix tape. Okay, let's see. Let's see the tip. Oh, look at that. We've never seen that. That's a cool one. It is super cool. Um, so he said it was for clever, ambitious uh, people that were going to make their mark. Jenna, they never said that to us. They really didn't. Yeah, they never said that to they us. They didn't. Determined. They are multitaskers. They have to always be doing something, sometimes a little bit too much. So you got to slow down. <laughs> that is so bad. Uh, and they are spot. a little energetic, so that energy comes from wanting to always stay busy. Dale? Oh my goodness. That, that is you to that a is me. <laughs> Jenna tells me to always relax and uh -huh. uh, quit working. That is you. So Dale has his wand. We ended up getting the 2020 wand because it is amazing. Because Jenna told me so. And also that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first one here. First ever place. spell. Send he is a wizard. First try. The Less force is strong. Wait, that's the wrong movie. <laughs> Good job. Good job, Dale. All right, guys. Well, that is it for our Back to Hogwarts day that we had at Diagon Alley. It was so much fun checking out everything that we needed for Back to School and Back to Hogwarts. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we had a lot of fun, and uh, Dale got chosen and it got a wand. Uh, we were having so much fun. We forgot to do a um, closing clip, so I'm here at home obviously. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. And check out our sponsors, mickeyblog.com and mickeytravels.com for the best in free Disney planning advice. And also Victor Naraki. He's a realtor here in Central Florida. If you've ever dreamed about living near the magic, check him out at celebratingflorida.com or facebook.com slash Naraki Realtor. Make sure you tell him Resort TV One sent you. So for now, have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Bye-bye. Now that you've finished watching this video, be sure that you're subscribed so that you can get all of the latest updates. Also, check out some other great videos on our channel. Have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Bye bye